Some of the items you will need are some quarter inch bungee cord. I got some wraps that I just simply cut, tie and cut, uh, seven to eight inches of ABS or PVC pipe two inches in diameter. I use the ABS because seals don't like that black pipe apparently. They don't seem to mess with it. And uh, you'll need some screwing uh, tops for uh, the end cap so you can load bait. Simply tie an overhand knot into your bungee cord, approximately two inches uh, in length. Simply thread some small line or even fishing line monofilament through your cap, put it around the loop and pull the loop through to make it secure. The knot will be the stopper end. Now it is time to simply drill holes into your seven to eight inch piece of two inch uh, ABS or PVC pipe. I vary the holes from anywhere from a quarter inch to uh, an eighth inch. Um, burying them allows the bait uh, to slip out, but it makes it really difficult for the crab to pull it out. Uh, so they get the scent, but they don't get to eat uh, like at a smorgasbord. Remember, our job is to attract crab, not to feed them. I've learned glue isn't even necessary. I just use a mallet, pound them together, and they seem to hold great for me. Some items you will need are an S-hook, small inexpensive carabiner, zip ties, end cutters, pliers, and your bait tube. Simply put an S-hook on the end of your bungee cord, crimp with pliers. Secure to the end with a zip tie, trim zip tie. This will keep your S-ring in place making for a speedy deployment and removal from your trap.
do the same thing with the carabiner. Place on the end of the bungee, zip tie, trim, and you're ready to crab. This is your bait tube. It's for lobster and crab. You can load this with exotic baits, uh, such as shad, squid. Uh, they'll pick squid out of most traps. This one, it actually stays in for a long time. And if you like this content, and you get more crab out of it, you get more fish, more clams, if you've seen my videos, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, share it with a friend. It's one of the best things you can do for me as a YouTuber. With that in mind, I'll be sharing more information with this, and you can see the videos where we make our super secret bait to bring those crab racing into your traps and not anybody else's. Get your limit the first time. So these really take up space in your boat or your canoe, but you don't have to work them as fast as you work these. Advantage is you get faster limits with a good conical. In addition, I will show you how to get clams out of a canoe when nobody else can get clams. It's a pretty cool trick I've developed.